So hi, in this video I will be showing you how to upgrade your uh, Synology to uh, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet. And basically most models, not all, but most are actually capable of doing that. So first of all I will be factory resetting this one and uh, I will be showing you what I will be installing. For this mod you have to have a USB uh, 3 uh, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet and I think this is by Realtek. This is the model and uh, no, they're not uh, sponsoring me or anything. Basically, this is it. Well, not really, but now I have to install the driver and uh, to test it. So, first of all, I need to factory reset this thing because I don't know any password or anything about this Synology. And uh, so, let's do that. As I remember, you have to press the reset button for 3 seconds, then release it, then press it for 3 seconds more, I think. We'll see. Okay, so it's booted. Now let's try to press the uh, reset for, th for four seconds, I think. Uh, for three seconds, I will see. I think this is actually it. Now I will be connecting the uh, network. And I will be connecting the network to this one as well, because we will be using this one for a test, obviously. So you have to uh, connect the network to the uh, Synology's original uh, network card, because how else are you going to install the driver? So see you uh, on my computer. Okay, so first thing that I will be doing is actually starting the uh, network scan, just to see what's the IP address of my Synology. Okay, so after I finished scanning, I will be entering the IP address into my uh, web browser. So uh, let's start the scan and I will be just showing you the, uh, well, the IP address of the uh, disk station. Okay, so basically this is the result and I will be entering the IP address into my web browser. I think that I can actually access it by typing this station.local as well, but we'll see. Okay. And this is the uh, factory restore. We need to reinstall the uh, DSM. So after this thing finishes, uh, I will be right back. Okay, so let's start. Device name will be Synology. You know what? Why not backup? Administrator account. Now I will be replacing the end username later on. This is just for demonstration purpose. Okay. John. This thing will be a secure password, but you know what? Let me go to text edit and just copy paste this thing because I don't want to uh, well forget the password and then have to reset it all over again so John no okay automatically install uh, important DSM updates automatically install the latest notify me not whatever this thing is we shall skip skip anyway I don't agree okay so we are in okay for this no thanks no thanks <sighs> okay now what I need to do is visit this uh, web page and I need to visit another page which is Google which will tell me the uh, processor that I have uh, in my Synology. So, okay, let's see, DS218, which is Realtek RTD, okay, I think that uh, this is the CPU, so we need to go to, well, this web page with the uh, this driver releases and okay, and we need to scroll to the Realtek. Uh, if you have another model, you will have to choose another processor. But here is the Realtek uh, 1296, and uh, this is the driver we need to download. Well, the uh, not the driver, but the uh, file. Okay, now we need to go back to Synology, and I think that's control and that's uh, control panel, and we need to enable SSH. 
Now let's see where terminal and SNMP, enable SSH, apply. Okay. And I will be going to my uh, terminal and basically you can, uh, you can do all of this thing actually in Windows. You just need to have software which is called uh, PuTTY, sorry, uh, seriously, PuTTY, you can download it. I will be leaving the description down below. So let's SSH to my IP address, which is John at dot 52. Let's see if this thing actually works. Yes, we do accept. And now I need to enter the password, which is, of course, it's the uh, long and unnecessary password, but okay, paste. Okay. Okay, but we are in. Okay, that's cool. So we need to go to package center and choose okay i agree yes and choose manual install so let's browse for the file so i've chose the uh, file i didn't i didn't want to show you files on my computer but yeah let's try to install it let's see whether this thing will work now it probably should i agree and this is basically the driver now let me show you before i install the driver let me show you the network um, sorry i need probably to control panel and then network now network interface and basically there is just this one okay now let's uh, run after installation and it will fail and now back to our terminal okay password um, yes paste enter and now it should be installed done Okay, now we have that package installed and uh, let's see whether it's actually running or not. Um, or we need maybe to reboot the... Uh, basically that's it. To reboot the... Uh, yeah, we have it. Okay, so basically we have to LAN and this one is 53. And as you can see, it's 2.5 gigabits. And believe me, it's working perfectly. And there you have it. This is the uh, entire thing you need to do. Now I had problems because, well, uh, I, uh, I, 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 thought I didn't think that uh, drives will not be deleted. I thought that everything will be deleted because I didn't need any data on the uh, Synology, obviously. And uh, yeah, basically that's it. I will be leaving in the description down below exact, st exact steps that you need to uh, follow. And basically that's it. If you like this video, please click thumbs up. If you did not, you know what to do. And uh, until the next time.